Very good morning to one and all. Myself, Dr. Vaishali Zadar, on behalf of BS College of Pharmacy, wish to extend a warm welcome to our today's speaker, Mr. Shailesh Kamar, Director of Equitas Healthcare Mumbai, and Mr. Abhijit Rao, Founder and President of Yashomi Foundation, Nagpur. I would also like to welcome all our faculty members, students, and participants. As we all know, we have gathered today for celebration of World Entrepreneurship Day, a day which has been coined to celebrate innovation and empowerment of entrepreneurship and leadership throughout the world. Entrepreneurship is crucial not just for job creation, but an incredibly essential and vital part of our economic growth and problem solving. I would also like to mention here that today's program is really special for us because we are celebrating this program in collaboration with AGRDCP Karzit College. Now, I would like to request Dr. Rajesh Rikhirlikar, HOD and Professor of Pharmaceutic Desco to please come on stage and also our first speaker, Mr. Shailesh Kamar, to please come on stage and I would like to request Dr. Rajesh Rikhirlikar to please felicitate Sir Now, I would like to request Dr. Rajeshri Hirlikar, Madam, to please share her thoughts on today's program. Thank you, Aishwati, Madam. A very good morning to one and all who are collected here. Students from BS College of Pharmacy, students from KJRCB College of Pharmacy, faculty members, and our resource person, Mr. Shailesh Kamar. A very good morning to one and all. As we all know, we are gathered today to celebrate the World Entrepreneurship Day in collaboration with KJRCB Kanser College. I would like to take this opportunity to express my views on the Institute Innovation Cell of VS College of Pharmacy. As India is progressing today from 500 to 60,000 active startups in last five years, it becomes the duty of each and every institute to take the necessary steps in building and nurturing the future entrepreneurs to make our country self-reliant and self-confident. Institute Innovation Council of West Corp was flagged by MHRD in 2018 and was started with a vision to foster a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship at VS College of Pharmacy. Since then, we have conducted various seminar, workshops, certificate and add-on courses to meet this goal. Every year, we have been raising our bar towards this goal and we have conducted about four to five such activities in 17, 18, 40 plus activities in 2018, 19, and 90 such activities in 2019, 20. And these efforts have paid off to us four star ranking in these last years. Fetching accolades is not our goal, but to facilitate the innovation and entrepreneurship. And towards it, the Institute has formulated and adopted its innovation and startup policy in accordance with National Innovation and Startup Policy, NISP 2020. 
we already have a pre incubation center where students can come forward and register themselves to get support for their innovation and startup we'll have a full fledged incubation center just beside our college within a year i would like also to share that today's our collaborative activities with kgrcp uh, and they are also involved actively in organizing various seminars and conferences to imbibe the importance of entrepreneurship in the minds of budding pharmacists i am really thankful to dr mohan kale principal of kgrcp for organizing this program with us i am thankful to our principal madam professor supriya shidai in whose absence that we are conducting this particular event here and she has always been captain of the ship for navigating us throughout our journey as well as our beloved sir shri bulani ji as well as sir nadas madam who always been guiding us for conducting such activities thank you thank you thank you madam for sharing information of iic vesco and other details i would now like to give introduction of our first speaker mr shailesh kamath to you all mr shailesh kamath has studied in shivaji vidyalaya and completed his bcom from r a godar matunga he has also completed his aicwa and mcom Kamath sir has got varied experience of working with corporates like LIC, JBIMS, Philips, and Sandoz. He has a detailed knowledge of finance and capital markets and has handled various higher post responsibilities with great success. With this short introduction, I would like to request Mr. Shailesh Kamath to deliver his talk on my story, journey of an entrepreneur. so all the faculty members and such a helpful staff and all my young students so why am i here to be very honest on this subject i was telling rajeshri that i am not a right person to really inspire the young generation for three reasons one is i don't think so that i am a great entrepreneur till now of course that journey is on second is i am not a great orator i don't know the modulation of voice and you know keeping the entire uh, the audience into kind of engrossed and third is what i personally feel is uh, you know uh this journey is still lot to go and maybe couple of years down the line maybe this is the right forum for me to address anyway uh, rajeshri was uh, was very clear that i should come and uh, deliver and i agreed for one reason that is because the energy which i can gather from here and go back and deliver my uh, my journey so can i see that energy today yes. very good so still not that level of energy which i was expecting as such <laughs> uh, you are a young generation right so you have entire life ahead of you uh, always there will be ups and downs in life uh, maybe what you can when i am talking about the entrepreneurship and even my journey maybe you can relate some parts of it and maybe you can take some uh, what you say tips out of it right that is what is the purpose of this entire presentation so can i
okay to some extent what i want is let it be a interactive session as well okay it is not a one sided story which is going on and you know you are getting bored <laughs> so can i expect that from you yes very good so let's start uh, i thank you for that welcome given by the college okay and the subject today is journey towards entrepreneurship okay thoda sa gyan और थोड़ा सा एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग ओके सो थोड़ा सा ज्ञान तो मिलेगा आपको फॉर श्योर बट थोड़ा व्हाट लॉट व्हाट आई वांट यू टू गैदर इज फ्रॉम द एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ओके सो दिस इज शैलेश कामत फोटो नहीं लगा कि इतना अच्छा फोटो चेहरा तो है नहीं ओके सो आई हैव जस्ट पुट अ नेम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द जर्नी सो शिवाजी विद्यालय वे आर आई स्टडीड टिल टेंथ Uh, Rajasri was my schoolmate, uh, but in our school at that time, till four standard, the you know uh, after four standard after the primary schooling, the girls' school and the boys' schools is separate, right? So till four, uh, Rajasri was with us. Uh, we were together uh, studying uh, in Shivaji Vidyalay. Uh, one thing I would like to you know share about Shivaji Vidyalay. Okay, see in life. you always like i was a person i was a student who was not studious okay i wanted to play games i wanted to do many activities not focused on anything in particular including studies okay but there is a and then over a period of time when my uh, elder brother was a scholar in the school so i kept on hearing that that bhai ko dekhkar tum where are you okay that kind of stuff and i always carry till four standard like that somewhere i developed that okay mere mein to gun hai nahi that is what a kind of feeling i gathered over a period of time and then came gokarna madam as our class teacher in four standard okay and she changed the entire perspective of my life there are certain points of in your life which will come okay and if you gather it right it will change your perspective towards life so what Uh, it's a long drawn story uh, we have a less time so in crux i will tell you gokarna madam inculcated that confidence in my me that i have that iq i have that ability to deliver anything and with many many examples she over a period of that one year she developed that and that made a difference you know i knew whenever i have to do deliver i have the ability to deliver that confidence was inculcated in me so that is what is gokarna madam uh now the big turns in life i always liked physics as a subject i wanted to do something in physics what is that i don't know because you are blessed let me tell you you your generation is blessed because you have a lot of information right internet is helping you with lot of information we were in a uh, in a there is a colony called uh, called abhiranagar which was a mix of mill workers and the government servants in close to lalbag now everybody knows right because of the ganesh uh, yeah. so it is close to lalbag and that was our world okay there was a small marathi grantha sangrahalay library and beyond that we never had a exposure beyond you know that library whatever we could read there that is the beyond academic that was the world so i wanted to do science that was very clear and uh, unfortunately what happened is i took a admission in science i was having a migraine problem at that time so severe migraine problem so because of that my uh, relatives uh, kind of advised my parents that don't put him in science there are a lot of lab work and you know he will not be able to sustain because he's uh, he is suffering too much by migraine and lot of doctors were consulted it was not cure so then they decided to cancel that admission and jabardasti i went to commerce so i was like depressed and i never thought that i can be in any other field other than science okay so i came to ra pudar college in matunga wonderful college it's not only for the academics it is also for the activities what they do it's and that was a great exposure again coming back from coming from a area called kalachowki to college and then getting exposure to various uh, friends which are staying in different areas in mumbai 
and that gave an immense exposure. I enjoyed that life thoroughly. But when I was doing that, I had only one thing in mind that I will pursue chartered accountancy course. Okay. At that time, chartered accountancy was you can pursue only after graduation, completing your BCom, not during. Nowadays, it is after 12th. So that was the only thing in mind that after graduation, I'll go for chartered accountancy. And uh, I was enjoying my life, uh, college life thoroughly. And uh, that there came the job in Life Insurance Corporation, LIC of India. And I come from a very humble family background. At that time, having a, getting a job at the age of 21 in institute like LIC was something great for the lower middle class, right? So there was a huge pressure from the family that I should go and join LIC and leave. Because articleship, you have to, it's like a job only. It's a full-time job. So you have to complete your articleship. You cannot do two jobs at a time. So uh, I had to leave that uh, for family pressure. And I joined uh, LIC. So I joined LIC in a branch. Uh, again, one quick example, an important example of what, what happened in LIC with me. Again, that turning point, right? So uh, there was a cashier who got transferred. And when the cashier is transferred, people other people from other departments are put on that job for rotation till the time other cashier comes as a uh, job responsibility. So I was not put, so I went to the branch manager. And because I, at, by that time, I was handling a lot of responsibility. Maybe the branch manager thought that let, him not, let us not disturb him. So I went and told him that I want to go and handle that cashier job for at least a week. He said, no, no, you have a lot of things in hand, so you don't go. I insisted. So he said, why? I said, for one reason. Because whenever I go and see uh, the account department heads, when sometimes there is a, there, at that time, there were no computers. I'm talking about the 1991 story. So there were huge register where I used to tally, right? So uh, I used to see the cashier putting, once the counter is closed, he will put a lot of huge bundles of cash. At that time, there was less online payments or check payments, right? More of a cash. So a lot of cash bundle used to see. And I used to say, oh, wow, what so much of cash, you know? So then I told him that I want to handle that cash. Why? Because once I handle that cash, I will never kind of, oh no, uh, if the cash comes to me, my value system is not impacted. I am on my value system because I have handled that cash. What you see sometimes, you know, which you are not seen in uh, in your life, and suddenly you get distracted, right, disturbed. So I want to handle that cash. So that was a trigger where I even got more responsibility from the branch manager, right? So though I never wanted to do a job and I wanted to do a pursue chartered accountancy at that point of time, I really did my best, whatever I could in my job also. So that helped me. And I, what I did is, then I realized at that time, the cost accountancy could have been done while you are doing a graduation. But I never did it because my only, only dream was doing the chartered accountancy. So I never pursued that. But then later on, I realized, no, uh, I am now in the job, but I have to complete the other, I have to do a higher education as well. So I joined uh, the post-graduation in commerce. I started pursuing this AICWA and cost and management accountancy. And I completed that. I would have not completed that. I would have been happy. Chalo, ab job mil gaya, abhi life to ban gayi. If I would have thought from that perspective, maybe I would have not got my next door open of life. Okay. So what happened is when I did this, this went to the, uh, it's like I was in the branch and the investment department is in the central office of LIC. Now it is like a corporator buying for the empty position kind of <laughs> Okay, it is like that. There are so many ladders, divisional office, zonal office. I got a chance to go there uh, because I completed these courses, right? And I met, uh, luckily, I got an opportunity to work, work in investment department. Now, let me tell you, when I landed in investment department till that time, my horizon of life was very limited. And when I landed up there, it opened up the entire uh, no capital and finance markets of India to me. The exposure was immense. There was like a lot of foreign banks, Indian banks lining up in LIC because LIC was a very big institution and they wanted investment from LIC, right? So I got an exposure to the entire capital market. That was a huge exposure. Okay, I'll 
I'll refer about my boss at that time, Mr. Dalkar at that time. He like Gokarna Madam. He was one of the trigger that I'll talk to you about this later. Okay. Then when I horizon change, I realized that I need to grow in life, right? And being a, a kind of a semi-government organization, it has, it has limitation on your promotions and your growth, right? So then I, I ad everyone advised me to change. So I joined Philips. So I joined Philips as a uh, officer uh, somewhere in 1997. Okay, I joined uh, as an officer in a commercial operation. Uh, sorry, I am coughing a bit, so uh, in between I may take a break. So when that happened, uh, uh, I got a lot of promotions there. Only one constraint I had, that is I, I always declared that I am not mobile. I will not move out of Mumbai. That, is my, that was my personal choice. That also will come in the later part of the presentation. But that was my personal choice for the social life of my parents who are very much attached to me. So I had decided that I will not leave out of Mumbai. So that when I left Philips, my boss, the CFO, told me that you have lost four years of your career because you are not mobile. And I even left Philips because I was not mobile because next growth would have happened if I would have gone to Gurgaon. But I, I said, no, I will not leave Mumbai. So for the growth, I had to leave. So there I had a very much horizontal growth. I was elevated to commercial controller. Parallelly, I went as a factory controller, which is very rare, very rare. That happens only in two cases that you have the, the required skills and abilities to do that. So I was a cost accountant. I could have easily managed factory controlling. And second is the confidence of the management that you have that ability to manage people. So both I had, by that time, maybe given them the confidence. So I got a completely different uh, factory controller position, which was uh, like, when I went to the factory uh, accounting, I was not doing effort. Okay, so I, you have to learn from the beginning and I was heading that and I was a controller there, right? So it it, it is kind of that gives you a confidence that, okay, you can manage any uh, challenges. Then I became an All India Compliance Set and then I had to leave because there was nothing left there uh, in Mumbai at least. I, I, there was no other option but to move. Then I joined Sandoz, which is a Novartis division. Novartis, uh, anybody knows about Novartis? Okay, so Novartis is one of the top pharma companies in the world. Okay, maybe top three. Okay, so uh, Sandoz is one of the division. I was part of their Asia Pacific Finance Group. And that gave, gave me immense global exposure because Novartis was an, in, at the spree of acquiring a lot of glo companies globally. And there were, whenever they acquire any multinational acquire any company, uh, with the local, the existing unit, there has to be an integration. Integration in terms of processes, integration in terms of culture, there are many other things and also the accounting part of it. So uh, I was one, always there would be an integration team, somebody from finance, somebody from quality assurance. So that I, was, I used to travel across the world and I used to do this integration job. And I was also one of the uh, SOX implementation tool, which was the initial tool. I was a, one of the top five experts globally. So I used to go and audit the countries as well. So it gave me immense global exposure. It was a lovely experience. But to be very honest, after two, three years, it became so monotonous. So I was getting bored. Uh, at the same time, uh, the office shifted to Singapore. So uh, they wanted me to come to Singapore or go to Philippines as CFO. I refused. Okay, And then because I was very clear, I will not leave Mumbai. So then I moved as a commercial operation, India commercial operation head. And when I was there, uh, on that job, the erstwhile MD thought that I have a good business acumen. So he pushed me for a business unit head job, which I was not ready because 20 years, such a good career in finance and suddenly going and having a PNL responsibility, uh, it's a completely <laughs> different ballgame. So I, and at that age, maybe I was, I just crossed 40 at that time. Maybe it was too late to get into these kind of subjects. So I was not very confident about it, and uh, but he showed me a carrot of supply chain head. So uh, being a finance professional, having supply chain head experience is good. So I took it, and to be very honest, over a period of time, I started enjoying business more than finance. <laughs> okay, then I took a entrepreneurial plunge in 2017, and we, a uh, few of my colleagues, we came together and launched this company called Aquitas Healthcare Private Limited, as, and I'm a promoter director in that company. 
Okay. So what what that comes to your mind with this journey? Pick ones. You want a mic or come on. What what first thing which comes to your mind? Anything you tell me, don't worry. Nobody is talking. Come on. So basically, what I feel it is a zigzag journey. Okay. Uh, not restricted at all. Correct. Correct. So, if you see my life, I wanted to do science, landed in commerce, wanted to do CA, and had to do a job. If I would have cribbed that, are mujhe to kya ho gaya? Mere, mere life to to mera moti bhi chala gaya. So, wo nahi chalda. You have to take it. And <laughs> one more thing which I want to really tell your generation is, and uh, maybe Rajeshri will agree or people with the my generation will agree that we come from a generation where we always listen to our parents <laughs> and now we have to listen to our children. So, <laughs> okay. So that's a fact of life. Okay. Now let's come to the topic. Okay. So prerequisites of becoming an entrepreneur. Okay. So what are those prerequisites? Passion. Without passion, it's not only for entrepreneurship. Whatever you do in life, if you have to do it with passion, whether you like it or not, and you have to do the job, still please do it with passion. It will help you in your life because learning never goes. And what you and what you when you go for a job and you are doing a job with passion, what you leave behind is your reputation. Please remember that, and that will always help you because that reputation in any job will connect you to some other opportunity in life. Okay, so always do anything what you do with passion. Okay, and for entrepreneurship, yes, it will develop a courage and motivation to develop abilities. So, so abilities which are one is you learn, you uh, you do some courses. This will develop your abilities, but abilities also are get developed by day to day jobs, right? So, whenever you do day to day things right, you develop your ability. Channelize it well. That is important. That will come in the later part of this product knowledge. Product knowledge means not only product, it is also the market intelligence, what really matters. And if you know the customer well, he'll always respect it. So keep, always keep this theme lines in mind. When you know the customer well, he will always respect it. If you go and sit in front of any customer and he knows that you don't know the subject, he'll never respect it. Okay, so you should know the subject well, plan. Okay, so set the goal. You should ever develop your ability to set your own goals. Okay, and make an operational and tactical plan out of it. Otherwise, you cannot be an entrepreneur. That is the ability you should develop in yourself. Then come paisa. Paisa ke sehar to kuch hota nahi hai. But let me tell you, you are in an era where you need not have the complete investment from your own pocket. Okay, if you have a good idea, good concept, there are people to invest. But you should have that exclusive idea, right? Okay, then you should develop your personality. Okay, what do you mean by developing personality? You should develop a business mindset in your mind, right? Doing a job and doing a business, there is a difference in mindset. Okay, so you have to do it. You should be dressed appropriately. When I say appropriately, that means if, uh, like, you know, I am a person, I am a hardcore operational guy and I will roll my sleeves and work. Okay, and passionately I'll work. But when I'm addressing, I'm attending a conference, I am uh, meeting a good customer, then I have to dress appropriately, right? That's, that is prerequisite, right? Communication. So, yeah, it is written and spoken. Over a period of time, it gets developed. It is not that you suddenly become a good orator. You cannot. People management, that is very important. So, But how come people management comes? It's only with honesty and fairness with people. Always be fair with everybody you deal with. When you deal fairly, that is what is the, you manage that person. Okay. Then three P's of quality you should always remember is product processes and people. So quality in people, product and processes. That should, we should always carry in mind. And the last and not the least is the perseverance. Okay. Bohat difficulties aati hai, bohat challenges aati hai. If you are having that perseverance to face those challenges and then, uh, you know, you will develop automatically the skills to work on those. Okay. So, dar gaye ap log? Ye itna sab entrepreneur ke liye hona chahiye. Dar laga na? Nahi? 
you are all confident how many people think that they have this with them or they can do it raise your hand someone ek do are very nice teen char excellent panch ch sat aath nau das are wa i am very happy but, <laughs> but uh, do you have any question nobody asked me what is green and what is yellow okay so green is something which i personally feel i have okay i have not made this presentation out of some google stuff it is all from my heart i have made it right so it is the green ones is i feel i have possess i have developed over a period of time and the the, the yellow ones i think i am still working on i am not there yet okay i have to work work hard to even get it okay so are you ready for a responsibility of parenting so parenting is you have when you are starting a business you it is like a giving birth to a child okay so your parents will only can know it and when you will become parents you will know it that parenting is a lot of responsibilities but at the same time it's a fun it's a happiness right having a child and playing with the child and nurturing the child making him what he call it as sudrut okay it's it that, that journey it and doing that journey with responsibility is a fun let me tell you. okay so now let's do a fact check humne to bola these are the requirements what what is a fact check about myself i was always a back bencher height ki wajah se ya masti ki wajah se i don't know so i was always a back bencher okay and i average student okay only thing is gokarna madam seeded that Uh, confidence in me that if I want to do something, I have the capability to do it. Okay, then I stayed in a chal, small chal, one room kitchen. Studied in a Marathi medium. I have not studied in an English medium. Comes from a very humble financially also family background. I never specialized in anything. I was not a, a particular sports I pursued or any hobby I pursued. Only thing which I did in college was. and i pursued it uh, to a large extent was trekking i love to go to jungles and mountains so i did it extensively i have i have even uh, trekked in himalayas as well so i love to do that and then later on i uh, got a meniscus surgery done on my knee and then everything stopped so i gained lot of weight but it was not the case maybe few years back <laughs> so i love trekking and it has taught me a lot so trekking taught me a kind of perseverance and ability to manage challenges you are in a very difficult situation you are lost in jungle you are not finding it your way and it is always already it is on uh, evening and you have to find a way go back uh, climb a mountain again and then decide a direction and come back so it is a it is really a good uh, learning okay no one from my family was in a business okay so how many uh, students have uh, you know their parents doing business or family background of business yeah, you can raise your hands 1 2 3 so lot of people okay good so uh, in my case there was no family background of business even my extended family also nobody was doing business everybody was doing job okay i had a good academic background by now successful career in finance do you think it was successful it all success is maybe little to some extent it is relative as well but i feel okay matlab aapka se bahut zyada milta yahi main sochta hu hamesha life mein okay so started from a clerk in lic and then went up to a global exposure level so i had a very nice career okay and i never had a great experience in pharma because i was in finance in pharma i was not handling business i was handling only for last 3 years okay so not a big huge experience in pharma and no deep pockets i never had deep pockets i have uh, 85 plus parents old parents and i have uh, two kids they are now just getting into your age and uh, you can understand what kind of uh, financial uh, requirements it may have in future right so i was having a very lucrative job very stable career everything was fine was it a how many people think that if you would have been in my shoes would have taken this decision to become an entrepreneur raise your hands come on very good excellent excellent 
very good why because if there is a will there is a way okay i became an entrepreneur at the age of 47 now we will hear jack ma later on and then uh, it doesn't suit his uh, <laughs> uh, kind of guidance journey towards entrepreneurship so let's let look at what is the journey it requires basically three things okay first is concept concept means idea okay you have that concept and that triggers in your mind that this is the area where i can do a difference but always remember and that is a mistake which i did i personally feel i just took the opportunity on i thought i can do uh, it's a trigger and i can do well in that and i just pursued that but what is required is you have to spot a current problem in that particular field or market okay and you should have a different solution which is better faster and cheaper okay always remember that whatever either whether it is a service or a product whatever you offer you have to always remember three things that can you offer a better faster and cheaper product for a for whom for your consumer right for your customer can you do that when you do that that is what is the idea okay now how you can get those ideas sorry you want to say something you want to say something okay so how do you get an idea either you you are doing a job after you complete your uh, education and you go to a kind of job and while doing the job you get ideas right while doing the job you get ideas second is work for it okay that is very important you have to work for those ideas if you have an idea don't say okay i have an idea now i am going for that uh, and implementing it don't do that first go and do a job in those re that relevant field keep evaluating and my suggestion is you study management like i did after i uh, joined uh, philips i joined a management course in jamnalal bajaj i did my 3 years degree course part time degree course but it really gives you a birds eye view and it also do help you to get into networking okay then networking is very important keep in touch with the people and the institute so you have to develop your idea with these three things okay then comes the blueprint you have to have a plan okay it has to be operational plan and a financial plan develop a plan right okay then consult experts aaj ka to google ka zamana hai aap log to google mein dekh ke you think i i am a master of the subject when you read google right i have so much of information but always do a fact check with the experts who are already there in that that field working in that way you have to do a fact check okay and keep your plan be ready it it world is fast changing let me tell you okay so unless by the time you go and implement your plan the things have changed the market has changed so keep the plan be ready that is important do proper resource planning so funding requirement for operational and working capital is very important three things you have to get it right processes people and tools okay thoda bahut finance ke bare mein bolta hu you know what is working capital what is capital asset and what is current asset okay so let me tell you if you are starting a factory for example so you are purchasing a land you are constructing a building you are buying machineries all these is capital assets okay then you want to start production now everything is ready machines are ready you want to start production now what do you need you need raw materials uh, other uh, inputs everything you require that is your purchase of inventory right for producing something which you want to produce then you need people okay correct so then you need to invest and give salary to those people and then you start business once you start business whatever you have purchased you are supposed to pay and whatever you have sold you are supposed to receive right so that is what is receivable payable so receivable payable inventory is your working capital for doing that business working that business you need that capital so that is working capital inventory receivables and payable these are working capital and second is capital asset which are investments in uh, factory building kind of another concept you should always remember is the variable cost and the fixed cost okay so you have started a plant you are producing 10 batches for which whatever is required raw material everything is your depending on the requirement you are buying right 
so that is your variable cost then you are producing transporting transportation is also variable cost because once you transport then only that cost will come so it is depending on the activity right fixed cost is what aapne 50 logon ko employ kar liya aur aapki factory band hai 50 logon ko pagar to dena hai so that is your fixed cost so always when you look at it look at it from the fixed cost and variable cost perspective right so चार चीजें यू टू गेट इट राइट प्रोसेस पीपल टूल्स आपको क्या टूल्स लगेंगे कौन सा सॉफ्टवेयर लगेगा कौन सा हार्डवेयर लगेगा कौन सी मशीन लगेगी एंड वैल्यूज सो इन वैल्यूज हाउ डू आई रिमूव दिस इट्स कमिंग देर डो इन दैटर सो यू हैव टू बी फेयर एंड ऑनेस्ट अगेन तो ओके सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू आर फेयर विथ समबडी यू हैव टू ऑल्सो लर्न टू कमांड फेयरनेस इट इज नॉट दैट यू आर फेयर सबसे अच्छे अच्छे हो सबसे अच्छा फेयरली डील कर रहे हो बट कोई आपसे अगर फेयरली डील नहीं कर रहा यू शुड नॉट टाइम टू कमांड ओके फेयरनेस दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज यू कैनॉट डू बिजनेस कैन नॉट गेट इन टू बिजनेस फॉर फैशन ऑफ इट दैट इज वॉट अजीज प्रेम जी स्कोट इज राइट यू कैन गेट इन टू बिजनेस जस्ट फॉर अ फैशन यू हैव टू हैव अ कंसेप्ट यू हैव टू हैव अ प्लान एंड यू हैव टू प्लान योर रिसोर्सेस वेल रिसोर्स प्लानिंग इज ऑल्सो इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंट क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस so i'll tell you about my company aquita healthcare okay so we like minded people came together hundred promoted incorporated in 2017 we signed a agreement because we knew we are a new company we don't have a standing in the market as such we need something right to go and uh, approach the customer so we took 32 brands on assignment and three brands on perpetual license from a big multinational uh, company who was operating in india and then we started the operation in 2018 okay share issue we did in for working capital so we have now brands right but we need working capital so we did a share issue after the brand acquisition okay and then we uh, kind of arrange for our working capital started operation in 2018 with 2 crore sale in that year then we went to 18 crore next year then we went to 30 crore in 1920 so we were kind of posting good growth We are on an excellent path. सब कुछ अच्छा चल रहा था. Next year was 50 and year after that was 100. Okay, so what happened? Then came heavy losses. Though we incurred heavy losses in the first year, okay, because we took uh, some initiative which failed miserably in the first year. Okay, so we had to correct it fast. Now that is also very key. When you know that your decisions are going wrong, you should have that ability to correct it fast. So we corrected it fast. but then came covid lockdown and that collapsed the entire business because our mainly we are we are manufacturing uh, icu setting injectables which are used for operative patients okay and what happened is there was no operative patient there were only covid patients in the, across the india in the hospitals right and there suddenly the the demand for the medicines dropped like anything and it was a huge trouble time okay for equitas to immediately what we did so can we can we say are kya kare abhi to phas gaye puri tarah aisa nahi hota you have to fight it out so what we did we immediately did some cost control measures and we bounced back very strongly after this covid uh, april 20 lockdown gl- uh, global kind of lockdown we bounced back and we posted 26 crore early previous year we were 30 crore but we did not degrow so much we bounced back well 26 crore and we crossed the break even also next year we now at 50 crores okay and with cumulatively reasonable profitability so now we are a profitable company which we are not because all that first year loss was getting carried for me okay now we have a good base okay so poise for a healthy profitable growth in coming years that is for sure but there are challenges because of uh global supply chain challenges right those api rates uh, i don't know how much you are very clear about the api uh, as such but uh, like meropenem api was 60000 per kg went to 2 lakh per kg okay now for aquitas we have a rate contract with hospital and we have a rate contract with all big hospital chains in india by now okay so we have a rate contract with manipal fortis medanta rainbow group of hospital care group of hospital regency group of hospital name the hospital then we have a rate contract and not a small rate contract now with manipal we have 34 products in rate contract medanta we have 22 products in rate contract 
But in rate contract, what happens for a certain period, you agree for a rate, right? But your your product cost goes three times, and your rate is not changing. So you can imagine the challenges. So we have to we are we manage those challenges in last one year, and now we are looking at the expansion, right? Now we are looking at hundred crore as next uh, level. We are not that great. We are just fifty to hundred. Okay, so, but we are at least that we want to go phase by phase. So we are now looking at hundred. and we have uh, started ek mula we first shipment for export will be shipped out by end of this month for aquitas okay so this is the way we are and we are registering almost in four countries already our product and we are still uh, in the process of kind of another four countries so things to remember always remember this thing you should have a competitive edge i said three things right that you should your product should be better cheaper and correct So you should have a competitor. Remember, world is changing fast. Okay, build your abilities for adapting for the change. Was, आपने कुछ सीख लिया and that is the that the or आप कुछ कर रहे हो तो वही कि वे नहीं है. आपके generation में world is changing very fast. You have to be very quick in adopting the changes. Control on operations is very important. Okay, everything you cannot do when you are doing a business. You are employing so many people. You have to. You should learn to get the job done. but you should at the same time you should know the control points the and parameters to control that you should know that is very important you just can't leave it compliance uh kabhi kabhi kya hota hai malum hai aapko shayad boring lagega subject thode se already bore ho raha hai mujhe aisa lag raha hai but compliance mein kya hota hai ki mera awaaz zyada nahi ho raha hai nahi acha it's okay now okay thank you तो कंप्लायंस कंप्लायंस ये ऐसी चीज है ना ये इनकलकेट होनी चाहिए अपने वैल्यूज में ऐसे नहीं होता कि कंप्लायंस मतलब अभी किसी ने बोला तो मैं कंप्लायंस करूंगा वेदर इट इज अ टैक्स कंप्लायंस वेदर इट इज अ क्वालिटी कंप्लायंस इट शुड बी अ योर वैल्यू ओके मैं कोई भी कंप्लायंस में पीछे नहीं रहूंगा फॉर दैट यू शुड नो दट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन कंप्लायंस राइट सो करंट रिक्वायरमेंट गवर्नमेंट रूल्स एवरीथिंग यू शुड अवेयर बिकॉज ऐसे होता है कि अभी डोलो सिक्स फिफ्टी का देख रहे हैं ना आप स्टोरी ओके सो दैट इज वन पार्ट ऑफ नॉन कंप्लायंस राइट सो कंप्लायंस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंप्लायंस इज नॉट ओनली फॉर टू डेज कंप्लायंस ऑलवेज थिंक वॉट इज पोटेंशियली क्या चेंजेस हो सकते हैं कंप्लायंस में कंसल्ट एक्सपर्ट बिकॉज वो आपको बहुत हिट करता है बिजनेस में आपको पता भी नहीं चलता और सडनली गवर्नमेंट का एक रूल आ जाता है एंड देन यू आर नॉट डेयर इन बिजनेस something like that we have to be very vigilant on this cash so manage your cash flow well okay so keep a tight control on your working capital bahut jyada credit mat do customers ko jo collect na kar paaye timely okay and keep your even vendor some time terms nahi to sab cash pe aap le rahe ho aur credit pe de rahe ho so then you will struggle okay so don't do that and keep your inventory also optimal ऐसे नहीं कि आपने सब को लेके रखा और आपके पास पड़ा यू हैव टू पे फॉर इट दैट इज माय थिंग राइट सो कीप योर वर्किंग कैपिटल टाइट कंटिन्यूअसली प्लान ऑलवेज रखो हर एक चीज बफर्स रखो थोड़ा केयर योर दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग राइट सो इफ यू हैव टू रियली बी सक्सेसफुल टू लर्न टू रिटेन योर टैलेंट यू फर्स्ट यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई योर टैलेंट बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू स्टार्ट न्यू फ्रेंड लेट मी टेल यू the good experts in different function doesn't want to jo and join a new company okay because they they want brand right they want to work in a bigger company they want a prestige reputation of that brand they don't want to come and work with a smaller company so you have one option what you have is that you take youngsters and develop them to a level you invest in them right second is you are you have to pay very high salaries which you cannot afford okay so whenever you develop people you should also learn to retain them okay so you train people at the same time when you take people always remember if you is not you don't find him fit tell him tell your fast is the concern okay because you are not only doing injustice to your organization you are also doing that injustice to that resource because he is not fit for that job he has just taken it for the requirement you it's the wrong selection from your side if you identify at the right time If you are fast, it is the hundred.
ऑफिस ले लिया अच्छी सी गाड़ी केम फ्रॉम यूएस लॉट ऑफ मनी वो अलग बात है बट पैसा है या नहीं है यू शुड हैव अ वैल्यू फॉर मनी और उसमें उसने और फिर ये कोविड आ गया सब कुछ डिले हो गया ऑल इज प्लान गॉट डिले एंड यू आर सिटिंग ऑन ह्यूज फिक्स कॉस्ट ओके दैट इज नॉट यू शुड डू इन्वेस्ट लेस इन कैपिटल एसेट्स इनिशियली एंड कीप दैट फंड्स विद यू फॉर द ग्रोथ पर्पस राइट कंसेप्ट सेलिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिल्ड ब्रांड्स एंड रेपुटेशन अभी एक्विटाज वही पॉइंट पे खड़ी है कि अभी दे हैव टू बिल्ड ब्रांड्स सो वॉट और एक आपने एक जर्नी कर ली लाइफ में and you reach a point that doesn't mean that like you know we have reached 50 crore so what brought us to that 50 crore may not take us to 100 crore the next target right so you have to think through what additional things you need to do what additional help you need to ha- uh, get into the business right okay few tips starting early as the advantage which you have right but be ensure that you are ready so starting early as the advantage where is the madam where is the link i don't see a link this is important i should have that link no actually we checked na sir so that link we could open no but where is the link it was there yes sir maybe you open my presentation or i open my laptop Uh, no, this is the presentation which was sent by Madam Rajeshri, Madam Tumu. It's the same presentation. No, that is the first one, Rajeshri. The second one is not there. Okay. That is important. Actually, I have that one only. But I can connect my laptop there. and show quickly. Or yes, sir. You see, you have email here. Actually, Madam has sent me this. Her ka hai. But I have one presentation. Ka mere paas. मैंने इसीलिए पूछा अपने आपको कि सेकंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ़ इस एवीटीएफ बोल रहे हैं। ओके। सो आई थिंक बिकॉज़ द कंस
You know, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teaches you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself. If you really want to be an entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to jump into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about it. How can you focus on things that you are good at? But when you're 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people. Because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. When you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself. On the beach, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for you to change, not with it. My advice to the young people, 25 years old, make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you step. Enjoy it. I was 25 years old. Enjoy the show. So what you learned? I think if you succeed, every mistakes become a legendary. If you fail, that's just a garbage. You know what I'm saying? So what you learn? I think in age of 25, what you should do? Everybody has to be great. <laughs> Everybody has a lot of problems. But you have a chance to get, get back, right? So that is what he's saying. So learn to make mistakes means you try and do the your conceptual ideas implemented effectively, but you can still afford to make mistakes. There's still a chance to come back, right? So in life. So you should learn to make So I always love to move around and talk. So uh, when you are 30 to 40, or rather before 30, one more thing is that you remember that? What was that? Follow a good boss. Okay, so that is very important. When you follow a good boss, you need to learn. One more thing is said. What was that? Sorry? That is 30 to 40. So that is 40 to 50. That is not 20 to 30. So 20 to 30 is saying when you join an organization, and you want you have any plan to become an entrepreneur, join a smaller organization. Okay, if you go to a bigger organization, you are part of a big machinery and you are in one part of it, and you will specialize. So there is today is also a world of specialization if you do want to do a job. Okay, but if you want to be an entrepreneur, you need to learn passion. Two things he said: passion and do many things at a time. Okay, you should be have that ability to do many things, look at many things, know many things at time. Okay, so it's not a specialization. Okay, I can go to the presentation. There are a couple of more videos I'll show you. Maybe it will take a little more time, but it is important. You know, you will that is what is the message. Can I show that? Is it videos or can I... Uh, you can directly do it, that is better. Just just switch on to presentation first, yeah. three, four points. I think you stand here only. <laughs> okay, so starting early as an advantage, but you should be ready for it. And how to be ready, that was this Jack Ma's address work. Structure the business well as per the need. हम क्या करते हैं हम बड़ी कंपनी को देखते हैं उनका स्ट्रक्चर देखते हैं अरे वाह ये सब कुछ है उनके पास और सब कुछ हमारे पास भी चाहिए नहीं हो सकता और नहीं करना चाहिए यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट लेस इन कैपिटल एसेट इनिशियली ओनली गो टू द फॉर द पार्ट्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड ओके 
एंड लेस इन कैपिटल एसेट मोर अदर देन मशीनरीज मशीनरी तो एस सी एस मोर इन कैपिटल अगर फैक्ट्री भी बनानी है ना तो फिर भाड़े पे जगह लेके भी फैक्ट्री बना सकते हैं नॉट जोकिंग ओके मशीनरीज के लिए यू कैन इन्वेस्ट ओके डिफरेंट That is very critical. ये वाला जो पॉइंट है ना ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर इन लाइफ कभी भी लाइफ में इट इज नॉट ओनली फॉर ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप प्लांच इट इज फॉर एवरीथिंग इन लाइफ यू शुड वाइट योर प्रायोरिटीज इन टू मस्ट टू हैव एंड मस्ट हैव एंड गुड टू हैव इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके हमेशा जब ये याद रखोगे ना आप बहुत ज्यादा प्रोडक्टिव रहोगे लाइफ में Value for money. Whatever you invest, there should be a value creation for this. Talent, celebrate success, success and recognize people. ऐसे नहीं कि आपने कुछ अच्छा success मिला and you are not celebrating with your people. Then you are not a good manager. Celebrate, okay, and reward performers. That is important. Keep the divestment, mergers, acquisition, all the options open because finally there is a goal for you, right? You want to achieve that goal. Your your efforts alone is not. kind of enough okay you need support you need people you need collaboration you need synergies right so look out for synergies that is very important somebody doing a similar job or what is your next plan in a better way try to rope him in that is important okay try, but when you are doing that try to keep in your organization of your organization keep the controlling stakes with you and your partners otherwise somebody will take you over eat you over right Okay, once you create a base like that, what the Equitas is going to do now? So once they create, they have created a base, 50 crore company going for 100 crore. But now we are also focusing on brand building. Why? Can somebody tell me why? Uniqueness. Uniqueness. Anything else? Establish. Okay. So basically, brand is the value. Okay. whatever business you have done today you have sold to your products or your services you are given to one your customer he will it will come back tomorrow that is what is brand talks about right if he comes back to tomorrow for the quality of the product for the pricing of the product or anything else for the services what you have provided to him that is what you have created a brand value so you have a continuous business model going on okay then solution solution oriented approach is one of the tip which i'll give you okay in challenging situation we tend to get depressed okay so that is what you should learn to come over and have a solution what are problem now i told you the story of equitas how many problems we faced we did not bog down we said okay now this is the situation we are in trouble let's find out solution have solution oriented approach and boss you if you start your own business mind your own business don't get into don't get distracted whether it is in your personal life or whether it is in your professional life even in your business you want to do 10 things at a time which you cannot do right you have you are into a one one particular business line you see another opportunity want to want to tap that till the time you are strong and you have a good base in what you are doing today don't go everywhere keep your options open rope people rope expertise rope do mergers acquisition everything you cannot do okay so mind your own business is better so what bill gates quote is it's fine to celebrate success but it is more important to heed lessons of failure so maybe we can just run that video which is We all have this one life to live. Fleeting shadow of all the existence that's the universe. We have the ability to accomplish anything. Should we end if we lose our time wisely? <laughs> Is this dark full? Yeah. I 
as it's falling out. And I'm on that. The dark falling out. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. I want you to recognize that this jar represents your life. Golf balls. Really important things, your family, your friends, your health, and your passions. The pebbles are the other important things, your car, your, your job, your home. The sand is everything else, it's just a small sand. Now, if you put the sand in your jar first, you won't have room to do the pebbles or the golf balls. The same is true in life. You spend all your energy and your time on the small sand. You won't have time for all the really important things that matter to you. Pay attention to the things that are critical to your happiness. Take care of the golf balls first. The really important things. Set your priorities. Because everything else is just uh, Professor, what else? Well, it's the bureau. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It goes to show that no matter how full your life may seem to be, there's always room for some of you. That's it. <laughs> This will all fall in. Okay, what is important is decide your main priorities of life, in which area you want to make your career, which uh, kind of uh, subject you want to specialize in, if you want to become an entrepreneur, in which concept you would like to work on. So prioritize, right? That is very important. So now, so very clear on this, right? So celebrate success. But it is more important to heed fail, uh, lessons of failures. That is very important. Okay. Now, what you learned about, uh, let us ponder. What you learned about your, uh, I have to stay here, right? Okay. <laughs> so, what you learned, what are, what do you think that, what is the definition of a success in business? If you become an entrepreneur, what is that you want to achieve as, uh, you know, you say, now I am successful. What is your thing? Can somebody tell me? Quick. Nobody. Profit, then ahead of competition. Very good. Identity. Okay. Trust. Very nice. What else? So what we talked about is top line. That is the value sales. Everybody says, okay, now this is this million revenue company, right? Then profits. What we talked about, right? Then we said reach and penetration. This global company is in the whole country or in the whole country is working in the whole country. Right? Wealth creation. Correct? That is what comes to your mind or no? Yes. Okay. Compliance. It is like trust. That is also part of compliance. Innovation. It is like innovative product company. Apple is like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Then processes. That it is highly process oriented company, value driven company. And build, uh, kind of, it is, it has built brands, okay? And it has a kind of a quality brand. That is what comes to your mind? Okay. So, actually, what you see, if you see the top big businessmen who are successful and who started for a zero, right? Who, what they say, can the company run without me? That is the first you know, definition of success. If Shailesh Kamat ko kuch ho gaya abhi yaan se office jate hoi kuch ho gaya raste hai. Thik hai? Company should run on its own. So there are people, there are processes which takes care of the company, right? And company goes on. That is what is the definition of success. Then your vision, mission, values are not on the walls. 
okay this is in the company dna everybody who is works for the company who works for with works with those values right that is another definition of success how many jobs you have created kabhi kabhi hum board of director meeting ke baat karte hain equitas ne pehli year jo loss kiya do teen saal gehri ki hum bolte the humne kya achieve kiya teen saal mehnat karke fir hum bolte the nahi yaar hum at least 80 families ko to hum humne job de diya hai aur 80 families hamare upar dependent hai ek this is also one of the success for us right how many families did you help we we are uh, there for for our employees not more on salary we are not the best paid salary but i can tell you we have the best paid best welfare schemes for our employees okay be it the life insurance be it the medical insurance there are many uh, initiatives what we take for welfare for the families how many managers you have developed that is what is also important right that when you start as a new company you take youngsters in your company you develop them have you developed them as a good managers also they so that they are ready for the next level of the company how many new businesses you have helped and helped to create okay and what did you give back to society and what you have done for the nation by this is what i feel is the definition of success for any entrepreneur right okay so be value okay wealth is the outcome that is what should be come in hum sochte hai paisa 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 kuch nahi value create karo wealth will follow okay then are you ready for it yes okay if you are ready for it let's see. last video what i want to run this is big video uh, you know it is not something following somebody but it has a wonderful message it's a wonderful message. so you should i think forget the subject of online platform i am not able to answer In the Swedish, take two days, three yes. days, and then you can start this. What wanted to start on the social path? Any day, a person is going to social path. It's a major habit. First thing is they will go out into the forest, looking for a cave to sit and meditate. So the man went out to the jungle. Then, of course, you position yourself close to a village because you need food. So he sat there and Om Sarat Mantra. And we had to get into the woods, get some food and that. And as night fell, he noticed there was a fox. Both his front legs were severed in some trap or something. It's gone. But still, he is well fed and healthy. Nature is not kind to any kind of animal. If you lose your legs, you lose your life. But this fox has lost his legs, but well fed and healthy. In this surprise, but then he ignored and focused on his meditation. As night fell, he heard the roar of the lion, the growls of the lion. Um, he forgot about his meditation and climbed the tree. He sat there and he was amazed. The lion, a full-grown male lion, came with a, a piece of meat and brought it and dropped it in front of the fox and met him. The fox had his dinner. He couldn't believe this. A crippled fox is being fed by a ferocious lion. Hallelujah! This is a miracle. This is a message from the divine. What is it? What is it? What is it? And he was wondering, wondering, wondering. Next day, he meet again. The lion came with a piece of meat, wrapped it in a box, and now he thought for sure this is God is sending a message to me. What is it? Then he. In the good day, in the wrong day, he said, "Even a good fox in this forest is being fed by a lion. You fool! What are you guys looking for food for? Just sit here. You can't call in a month." So he simply said, "One day, two days, three days. Meditation began like this. Fourth day, like this. By seventh day, he was groaning, between life and death. Another yogi was passing this way. He heard this sounds of a man dying." He came down and he asked, "What happened to you? Why are you in this condition?" He said, "Oh, Yogi, please tell me. A divine message came to me. I went by the message and I became like this." The Yogi asked, "What happened?" He said, "See, look there. There's a crippled fox. Every day that fox is being fed by a ferocious lion. Is this not God's message? Is this is not a divine message." The Yogi looked at him and said, "Definitely, it's a divine message. Why is it?" 
that you chose to be like a cripple box and not like a generous lion. So this is a choice that you have. Every moment of your life, whatever the nature of the situations that you may face, are you a generous lion or are you a cripple box constantly calculating how to get something out of something? That makes the difference. That makes who you are. You do not become who you are because of what you eat. You become who you are because of what you do, what you feel, what you think, and how you are within yourself, isn't it? So what you learn out of it? <laughs> so what was the message? The message was you should not be a what? What you should be. Okay. So first you have to become lion, right? And then become generous. That is very important. Right? So that is for becoming lion, you have to build strength in yourself. Okay, become a lion. And then those success, if you become an entrepreneur and you become a very, you have a very strong company, then definition of success you follow what I was just saying. So presentation. Okay. Okay, so how to define success we, we discussed. And this is what I'm saying that how many jobs you created, how many people you helped, what you did for society, build value. So are you ready for it? Okay, but one thing you please ensure that if you cannot manage stress, don't get into business. Okay, so it is um, whatever you do in life, enjoy it. Okay, enjoy it thoroughly. Then only you can get into, you can face any challenges. Don't get stressed. That is not worth it. And a little progress every day builds a success, big result. That is what you need to learn. Okay. Now I was talking about um, Mr. Galkar, okay, who was uh, my boss in uh, investment department in LIC. He had inculcated, he was a big man. He was a secretarial level person. And he incul and had a very big team reporting to him. But every one, each one of us, he inculcated these values in our mind. And when you do business, it is not only in you, or even if you do, you are doing a job, inculcate this value. That is very important. Think that you have invested your own money in the company. That is number one. And you are paid by the company, not by individuals. So if anything going against the the interest of the company, even your boss is having that idea, you should have a courage to oppose. Okay. So you are paid by the company, not by individuals. When you do that, you'll always take right decisions. Okay. So make it big. Big thank you and all the very best. And remember the last line. If it is to be done, it is up to me. He always you remember. So all the very best and uh, I hope you put gather some tips out of it, my experience. Thank you so much. <laughs>
our next speaker of the day and young entrepreneur mr abhijit arvind raut joined with us it's a great pleasure to welcome you to this platform of world entrepreneurship day celebration jointly organized by iic and iqsc of vs college of pharmacy and kokang and pitraudaka college of pharmacy research institute so welcome sir i would take this opportunity to introduce our resource person mr abhijit raut mr abhijit raut is founder and president of yashobin foundation nagpur it is ngo works for rural development presently he is research fellow at department of mechanical engineering vnit nagpur mr abhijit worked as government's master trainer for agarbatti manufacturing and perfumery also consultant to medical dental and engineering industries for product design and development he was a founder and executive director of 3d innovators that is 3d printing startup and precision aligners nagpur he worked as department of uh, he worked in department of mechanical engineering gh rajan college of engineering as assistant professor in nagpur he has two granted patents on his credit two under examination and one under publication status his specialization and area of research includes additive manufacturing that's 3d printing biomedical product design and development socio technological product developments recently he has received a grant worth 14.98 lakh from kbic india he published more than 25 research articles from various uh, national and international journals he has written a book chapter for spinger publication mr abhijit have appreciated for his work by receiving more than 10 awards on various uh, by various platforms i have listed few that is best speaker award uh, innovation award master trainer award mentor research a project winning award appreciated by india's hrd ministry for r and d work in covid-19 national lockdown and many others he worked on 35 plus consultancy project with medical and engineering industry and research institutes he was invited and delivered 25 plus like guest lectures in engineering and medical institutes and underwent more than 15 trainings program in uh, from iit and nits with this shortest introduction i would request mr abhijit sir to give a talk on entrepreneurship development in health sector so over to you abhijit sir yeah thank you ma'am thank you punam ma'am hi uh, hello everybody am i audible am i audible yes yeah, sir you are audible okay uh, good afternoon everyone it is good afternoon or good morning yeah good morning and after a power pack session uh, kamath sir means uh, it was very nice session because i have i also witnessed the session the sir how motivated on entrepreneurship that that is great uh, first of all let me thank um, uh, the principal of uh, kg uh, kg rdc p uh, and ri karjit and uh, all the organizing committee member for inviting me for such a wonderful uh, program dedicated uh, on entrepreneurship because it is uh, needed today it is needed why it is needed we are going to discuss in uh, i'm going to uh, discuss in brief as uh, much of the points real up, uh, real life points and topics has been discussed by uh, kamath sir so i'll uh, more focus on technology how it will be helpful uh, to them yeah i'm sharing my presentation is it visible is it visible uh, no sir So share option is there? Yeah, yeah, I have shared. 
it is yeah uh, yes yeah is it yes, visible, it's visible no? now yeah so this is online session i also interested in offline session why because um, it is more uh, interactive session gives uh, much uh, better feeling not only uh, for the audience as well for the speaker uh, but i don't know uh, due to limitation i'm here in nagpur uh, delivering the lecture uh, online so here is my lecture like entrepreneurship development in health sector uh, specific to innovation and technology prospective yeah uh uh due to time limitation i have uh, compiled my session uh, to limited one as uh, it was only for one hour, one hour so i am going to brief on entrepreneurship in very short now and uh, then on product design and development product design and development like i have uh, discussed with um, uh, dr kade sir that now uh, like uh, medical medical colleges like dental and medical colleges even in pharma institute they are working on technology and product development right that's why they are uh, would like to integrate the industry 4.0 if i am not wrong so various courses are there right so i am going to uh, discuss in brief on technology and product de uh, design and development because you are an entrepreneur right so for particular entrepreneurship to do the business you need a product right whether it is a process or a product so for that uh, i have uh, enlisted some of the points and some of the case study even like uh, as a researcher also as a entrepreneur uh, i have visited various institute whether it is medical or engineering uh, everybody is a talented person whether it is from rural or urban everybody is having idea but uh, there are some of the constraint is there like everybody don't have that uh, fund Every don't everybody don't have the money if uh, they have the idea they don't have the connect so I have uh, enlisted uh, uh, some of the uh, tips for grants not only for loan there are uh, option of loan but uh, even bank will ask all the uh, for the mortgage right but uh, there are various funding agencies so I am going to share uh, some of the experience and some of the tips on that because idea to hai. Uh, sab hai, but paise ka jugaad kahan se kare? That that is the question every time. So I have enlisted the, that content also, and later on, uh, like uh, I have worked, uh, I am working in healthcare industry uh, since my masters. So some of the case study personally, which we ha I have done with the um, uh, healthcare persons, like whether it is of dentist or um, uh, other practitioner, I have enlisted a few. to uh, discuss about the product design and development okay so he, uh, this is the content from my uh, session in glance we will see the entrepreneurship development okay so we will start uh, with one short story this is story of two friends like uh, there are various uh, i think uh, gathering uh, from do, uh, these two uh, co uh, colleges right Uh, I think audience is from third year and final year, right? Uh, so th they are the best friends. They are, then they have selected uh, those those two friends. We will give a uh, one name, like uh, one name. Uh, this is the, uh, the the person with beard is Steve, and another person opposite to his, him is a Larry, right? So uh, they got the campus uh, jo uh, job uh, from campus. they have they have started the earning uh, um, means earning in mnc com big mnc company after uh, a few years uh, they get to know like uh, you know everyone has that kick that uh, we should do something or uh, we can do better than this industry or any lacunas which you have uh, found in that particular uh, department or in the, uh, that industry or if it, you get any connect whatever it is means while working you get the idea right with the knowledge or with the experience you get the knowledge uh, idea so uh, while working in that particular industry they got some ideas okay so as i told you it is steve and larry then uh, they quit their job yeah they quit their job and they they have started uh, working on their business idea their product idea right so uh, but they are uh, they are with the same age 
there are uh, there are with the same uh, like qualification and same passion but what happened after a year one year after one year steve was still building the his product he was um, uh, developing only product he was focusing on only product how to solve this how to means what will be the features how we can um, add the features so that it will be more attractive uh, and working on only product uh, centric approach he was having so only r and d okay but what happened then still he was after a year he was still building his product there was no revenue at all and he was working alone as he was a, a product uh, centric fellow after one, uh, one year and uh, on another side larry was there after one year he was growing his customer business he was like um, more successful than steve if uh, we are compar uh, comparing with uh, steve and he is uh, getting more money growing revenue was there even he uh, uh, with the re with respect to the revenue and customer base he have he are coming with the uh, uh, more team member right steve and larry looks cute uh, cute uh, different a, a year later why anybody uh, is it uh, interactive means can we communicate with the student online is it possible ma'am hello am i audible hello hello am i audible hello 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 am i audible hello हेलो हेलो मैम मेरी आवाज आ रही कि नहीं नो रिस्पॉन्स इज देर एक्चुअली होल प्रेजेंटेशन इज विजिबल एंड आई कैन सी द कमेंट दैट्स वाई सो कैन वी टेक अ इंटरेक्ट शो मीन्स स्टूडेंट कैन हियर मी एंड टॉक टू मी इज इट पॉसिबल हेलो और इट इज ओनली वन वे <laughs> okay 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 no issue i'll continue in that yes so yeah hello sorry to interrupt okay so uh as we have discussed that that steve and larry was of uh, of same age same passion same uh, everything but after one year steve was a different height uh, larry was a different means uh, larry was a uh, little more successful and steve isn't why why so so how did they end up in such different places so these are the some of the points means uh, like what happened exactly steve was having the idea right initially like uh, while working in that particular mnc or while uh, at uh, in a college right then he has uh, start uh, start uh, use his own expenses for the developing that uh, idea into a reality into a product right so you can see in that manner in that fashion he uh, he has started uh, working on it and after 6 months when he approaches like uh, approaches to investor or to company he uh, he was thinking like his idea was the best his uh, his uh, uh, his um, product is best but the customer or we uh, we can say yeah directly customer or investor was not happy their expectation was different but he was thinking that his idea is better on another note on another note 
what happened larry larry was working on like a, on customer uh, customer uh, centric approach like he was uh, doing the survey he was doing the survey about the problem what is the requirement what is the requirement what is the exactly need currently he have visited various doctors if we are uh, consider uh, exam uh, taking the example of pharma industry he was uh, visiting various health care healthcare center he have uh, spread various uh, forms he have uh, visited various uh, places for what to identify the need to identify the problem and to identify the competitors meanwhile what he had, uh, what uh, what he have did he, meanwhile he did like uh, um, he had developed the proof of concept of his idea not uh, directly product or man, mass manufacturing only proof of concept to show to investor are you getting my point to uh, to show the investor like uh, at the same time he uh, he has prepared the, his pitch pitch for the investor which is very important in today's days for the startups right there is a very mentoring session for that so he has started uh, pitching he was uh, started uh, road uh, preparing the road map for his business and at the same time as i told you he was visiting various uh, uh, places and doctors for what for taking the feedback or taking the problem or input at the same time with with it he he was increasing his networking right indirectly before his product launch he is what he is doing uh, he is making his client base so uh, and he was like investor specific investor first approach was there what was the uh, steve approach that is build first and then approach to the investor or customer build first and then approach to customer but here with larry he he what he was uh, interested in investor approach so he only uh, focuses on business model right so this is the difference and because of that uh, uh, larry becomes more successful or uh, that that was the result after a one year hope you got the point for uh, but even in current days this is the summary we can say as you know there is a like uh, larry recognize the built investor first approach and that uh, steve was customer means built first approach but today's days the scenario is also um, uh, we can say change as you can see there is a more number of startups going on that because government our indian government is more fo focus on startup uh, fundings in startup india you know the, that initiative of uh, pmo right so there are more startup working on the same product same capital same uh, problems so we need to be a specify we, uh, we need to optimize our time or optimize our idea in the right direction in this moment itself while you uh, at your in final year so this is uh, and but like i told you that first uh, steve was on build first approach larry was on investor first approach but in the today's days uh, due to the high competition now approach is different first to like uh, we can say transaction first traction first sorry my mistake traction uh, traction first traction is what as i told you uh, what was larry was doing he was uh, doing the market survey right so we need to adopt the market first means what is the market requirement currently so for, uh, we we should be first to market adoption that is the traction first hope you got the difference uh, you uh, you can see the example of nokia android windows you know he not uh, he is not uh, adopted the uh, change and you can see the result with this is with the every company we need to go with the flow we need to uh, adopt the changes okay so now currently we should be tractions uh, for specific approach we should keep like old world how was there it is old world there was not technology that much it was it was hardware driven hard to build a product not too many competitor there are very few choices for the customer hope you have understood like uh, father and grandfather era there was not a competitor at least 
everyone is specific about job, 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 job only. And, and for, uh, for products also, there is a less competition, right? So every entrepreneur uh, or a businessman at that time uh, becomes successful. But in today's world, you know the competition. It is easier to build the product because, you know, like uh, the technology is very booming, whichever technology is there. And there are a lot, more, but there are, that's why there is a lot more competitor. There are a lot more choices uh, is having with the customer. That's why if we have idea as an entrepreneur, we need to keep that point. So how we will differentiate, how we, we can get the audience or we can get the uh, competitor, means uh, client, customer. Right. This is the difference in old and new world. So we need to adopt uh, those uh, uh, things and we need to think in that direction only when we, whenever we have any product idea. Right. So, huh, like investor, investor today don't uh, fund, fund on your product. They don't uh, want your idea. They want business model. They are uh, more focusing on your business model, and then and then only they they will invest on your product. Means what is what are your strategy? Those are things. But what happened if we are starting working like uh, the Steve did? He was working on uh, product only time one year. He was only pro working on product. But you know how the uh, era is changing. How the time is changing. In one hour in one year how the products or competition is get, uh, getting changed right so we in parallel we need to work on those other things so that is what i take traction first traction thing right like you end up with like spending a needless time money effort in building something nobody wants until you run off with the resources. This is what happened with the uh, steam. So your, your time is very valuable when, when you come to business, right? So you need to optimum, you, you need to keep your roadmap ready. You need to model your time every time. You need to prioritize the things, right? A fundamental mindset shift for doing that is starting with the problem before the solution, right? Customer don't care about your solution, right? They are care only about the problem. That is the thing. That's why we need to see the customer approach. We need to take the customer feedback, right? First, and then you should uh, start uh, working on that particular product or particular idea for your uh, uh, your business, right? So. That was the summary of the story that Steve is following the build demo and sell uh, playbook approach while Larry is following the demo sell build playbook approach. So rather than developing a product means in one year developing a product and then approach to market, uh, develop a proof of concept and at the same time, jump into market, uh, go at various places, various conferences, uh, uh, at various uh, networking sessions. So that you can get the feedback right at the same time be updated with the technology globally that uh, whatever uh, idea uh, which you have is it existing anyone is working on it so then differentiate uh, between your idea with the existing one what are their lacunas whatever it is and then prepare a proof of concept and then jump into market rather than investing that much time and that much capital, right? So this is the differentiate between this uh, story of Steve and Larry, how uh, Larry became more successful after one year, okay? Hope uh, I have summarized the story. So that, that was the conclusion from the Larry. Good ideas are rare, to, uh, rare and hard to find. And good uh, ideas came from anywhere, from anywhere, so for, from our like younger or older uh, relative, right? In any session, like right now you are uh, currently attending this session or you are, you are at various technological programs. So that idea can come from any uh, anywhere. You need to open your uh, like scanner, your eyes at everywhere if you would, would like to become an entrepreneur, right? So keep your eyes open. 
finding a good ideas required lot of ideas you need to do more brainstorming on ideas itself on which note as i told you about the feasibility of that particular product about about everything about what will be the future what about what will be the future of the five five years so for the validating idea for finding a good ideas you required a lot of ideas so model your things prioritize those things and then test and define the model okay that was the uh, summary which I, we have discussed the difference between the steve and larry is not a different skill set but different mindset so you keep uh, you keep your mind in that direct particular direction then and then only you will successful okay steve is operating like an artist he is work he was working on only on product 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 and product like any artisan or any artist is working but you know what uh, what happened today is there, there is a technology is booming we can hire any person and we we can work with the technology what what is the need is we need to check first the market what is the demand kuch bhi apne bana liya aur wo sell hi nahi ho raha to kya fayda kahan bechoge right so first we need to create a demand we need to check the what is what is in demand and then the supply then create your product accordingly right that's why uh, built first approach is very risky in today's days right so take take your idea in that direction these are some of the uh, points um, thomas sir already explained much uh, on the entrepreneurship tips uh, with his personal experience still in short i'm uh, telling you like you should keep your uh, business model your business model is your product right so love the problem not your solution because you need to update your solution every time if if you are working on any product and if your friend or your any competitor uh, uh, observe your uh, solution he can develop it on even more uh, what you can say uh, super, uh, superior uh, than your solution and when after a year when we uh, uh, found that solution is not uh, work then we uh, feel very bad so love the problem not the solution you need to keep changing your the solution and uh, like that's why i told you about adoption right traction traction approach you need to adopt the changes traction is the goal right take a right action at the right time even in your final year you are there uh, i don't know about that much in pharma uh, pharma uh, engineering coll uh, colleges but in, in uh, you know in uh, engineering colleges there are various incubation centers or various like uh, this uh, like talks in third year itself students are uh, flooding with the very ideas entrepreneurship cell entrepreneur incubation cell so from third year itself they are working on their ideas whether it is uh, it is on re their uh, research means final year research if uh, they are a research topic or any idea while, uh, while uh, studying so take the right uh, right action while education taking the education itself right and hold your uh, like take your that idea into for, uh, further level after your graduation right so uh, entrepreneurship sir already uh, discussed entrepreneurship is nothing but a journey from your idea into a business just converting your idea into business i think that is internship uh, entrepreneurship right i will not uh, discuss on this so you know about the uh, pareto principle 20 by 80 rule you can see this being there you can see 80 80% uh, means 80% are the beans and rest of uh, rest of 20 is cover but you know in today's days you know need uh, 20% this 20% create the job for other 80% right so you need to ch uh, choose what um, you need to be in that particular 20% or in that 80% population who is doing job it uh, depend on my mindset uh, uh, depend on surrounding as well right and depending on the responsibility also but in today's days this is a uh, uh, scenario and more uh, uh, young uh, students are shifting to this uh, startup startup approach but you know the fact you know the statistic 
the most of starters uh, startups are fail in one to two years that is bitter but true why because of that that story that approach that's why you need to keep your eye you need to plan those things you need to keep your approach like that then and then only you will success uh, succeed otherwise you will start your you will start your uh, uh, startup industry and after one year two year it will be managed you will uh, we will fa you will face a very uh, loss in that right so you need to keep your plan ready and you should uh, be uh, in that 20% to create more and more job so that our country uh, gdp will increase right this is the stat of uh, gdp 80% of startup fails that's why i had told you 80% of startup business fail within a the first two two to three years you know about any funding agency also uh, like i am associated with khadi village industry commission uh, one of the segment of msme uh, and another, another funding agency also they are taking the audit after three years why because they are also aware that most of the startups fail after two to three years but this is the current trend वो गरम गरम खून रहता है गरम गरम जोश रहता है वो स्टार्ट करता है विदाउट एनी प्लानिंग विदाउट एनी अप्रोच एंड आफ्टर अ कपल ईयर सस्टेन नहीं कर पाता राइट सो पेशेंस लगता है सस्टेनेबल वी शुड बी अस्टेबल सस्टेनेबल वन ओके सो हाउ विल इट विल हाउ वी कैन सक्सेस इन दैट दैट सर हैज गिवन कामत सर हैज गिवन वेरियस टिप्स ऑन इट we should have the plan business that develop and implement a business plan earn 10 times more in profit it is like the same in uh, what uh, you are doing in your study if you are studying uh, uh, studying with planning right uh, with uh, with the guide under the guidance of your faculty you will get more numbers right you will get the more numbers same with the business also you need to keep your plan ready each and everything uh, uh, that's what we have discussed in our earlier story and with this only you can be as successful like those uh, i think sir uh, sir have uh, uh, shown various um, videos of jack ma sir also jack ma so then and then only you can become the uh, jeff bezos steve jobs jack ma mark zuckerberg like personalities right so hope uh from you also uh, will be any um, uh, famous entrepreneur or industry uh, industrialist in future if you are taking the small example of uh, amazon you know about amazon amazon is trending uh, it is one of the largest company in the world providing variety of the services but initially like this is there is another another uh, tip focus on single thing focus on single thing allied with this, those other things which which i have told you okay don't uh, come up with various problem uh, products or various solutions like amazon started his working like you can uh, see the road map in 1994 amazon started his business online bookstore only then in 98 he just starting his shopping services then in 2004 you know about the uh, in it company there is aws they need the com uh, computing services you know uh, i uh, that was one of the start uh, that amazon company like we are uh, we are aware only amazon for the uh, what uh, marketplace right e commerce website but you know about this competing services i think 80% uh, 70 to 80% uh, his revenue his profit is coming from this service computing services cloud based services from various it companies right so he has started that product in 2004 and then uh, in 2007 he uh, he has started another amazon kindle and now you know uh, in today's ott platform amazon uh, started his uh, ott platform amazon prime like uh, netflix alternative of netflix right would so you know the various movies are uh, running on amazon so you see the example of amazon how they have started how they have focused and they have adapted the market what is the need in market 
what is the trend is going on so that they can adopt so accordingly you need to adopt you need to check the problem and that's why you can see the his office in 1994 how was the office and now see the headquarter of amazon in 2020 right this is the difference right so i will not discuss about those uh, important steps like which we have already uh, discussed in um, uh, earlier this story and kamal sir also explained on this okay so uh, like this point also explained by sir so be productive be productive don't invest that much means like uh, you know the productivity input output divided by input इनपुट कम करना है प्रॉफिट ज्यादा लेना है आउटपुट ज्यादा आना चाहिए देन यू विल बी बी प्रोडक्टिव जैसे आप पढ़ाई भी करते हो कम पढ़ाई करते हो ज्यादा मार्क्स लेते हो राइट right? उसको बोलते हैं ना प्रोडक्टिव है राइट सो सेम इन बिजनेस आल्सो यू नीड टू बी प्रोडक्टिव कम खर्चा होना चाहिए और प्रॉफिट ज्यादा होना चाहिए लाइक दिस स्ट्रैटेजी यू नीड टू डू सेम इन लाइक इन इन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो इन इन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन बिजनेस ऑल्सो ओके how oh, and another thing i would like to this like um, you need to follow your skill uh aisa mat socho ki aap pharma industry mein ho pharma industry mein ho to pharma ke liye related hi uh, aapko startup start karna hai don't think on that note you know various engine aap abhi to jante hi hai various engineers medical koi bhi ho now the era is changed डॉक्टर्स इंजीनियर्स भी अभी बैंकिंग में जा रहे हैं इवन फार्मा फार्मा वाले भी बैंकिंग में जा रहे हैं इंजीनियरिंग वाले एम बी ए स्टूडेंट भी चाय बेच रहे हैं यू नो एम बी ए चाय वाला होप यू हर्ड अबाउट दैट ही इज टॉक राइट सो नाउ आई डोंट थिंक द डिसिप्लिन मैटर्स वॉट मैटर्स इज योर आइडिया एंड योर स्किल rather than getting skill and then start uh, your business I'll, i'll i'll say uh, follow your passion follow your skill which which you have right now in your final year work on that start thinking with respect to that and definitely wo 3 idiots 3 idiots mein jaise batate hai na waise hi ho jayega result because of that pokemon you know about the pokemon story kaise wo अलग अलग पोकेमान कैरेक्टर बनाता था एंड हाउ सक्सेसफुल इज नाउ इवन यू नो अबाउट द वर्ल्ड डिजनी राइट वर्ल्ड डिजनी इज वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल सो डोंट कंस्ट्रेन योर माइंड टू स्पेसिफिक विद योर फील्ड ओनली दैट आई एम डूइंग फार्मेसी आई एम डूइंग बी फॉर्म और डी फॉर्म और एम फॉर्म इन फार्मेसी सो बट इफ यू हैव द आइडिया फॉर रिलेटेड टू एनी एफ प्रोडक्ट or any other device a light device so go with it don't think in that direction only because there is a competition whatever it is okay so open your mind for all direction that will be my suggestion personally okay so right uh, this is like slow is not only lazy follow your dream follow your uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, skill and in that only you can get to know uh, what are the various uh, lacunas what are the various ideas so do it in that way uh now we will come to product development right product development or technology aspect like this was the about the entrepreneurship how you should keep your eyes open and what what are the do's and don'ts right now uh, as a technical person or technical technocrat uh, like whether you are working on various medicines or whether you are uh, working on various like uh, any device related to surgical right so how uh, how you should keep your product design and development right how technology will be benefited in that uh like i already told you like there is a new course is industry 4.0 ai ml have you heard about you should keep if you have, would like to be an entrepreneur keep updated with the technologies also keep updated with the businesses there is a, a trending name industry 4.0 right industry 4.0 is like a revolution pehle industry kaise manual uh, manual driven thi 
सॉफ्टवेयर ड्रिवन थी अभी टोटली ऑटोमेशन हो गया लाइक दैट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ एंड इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ में जो की रोल अप्ले कर रहा है दैट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग आई ओ टी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यू नो लाइक यू आर वर्किंग ऑन वेरियस बॉट्स हैव यू विजिट एन एनी वेबसाइट visit uh, there are various chatbot which is giving automatic reply what is it is instead of main man or human there is a uh, software artificial intelligence he is giving uh, 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 respond he is responding to your queries right same machine learning ai ml with respect to like uh, you have some uh, past data past result data and accordingly you know like uh, human mindset like uh, human uh, mind how the human mindset works or uh, nature uh, uh, is particular means becoming uh, specific point of view with respect to our experiences our past events our surrounding same in machine learning what happen if we have the various results past result with that particular problem so we can develop a algorithm or program which will take the decision accordingly and we will uh, that will give the solution or work that is a machine learning with respect to programming with respect to past result or data right iot iot also you are aware internet of the things pehle jagah pe baith ke apan uh, ac button se hi shuru karna padta tha right now with the remote we can operate now with the cell phone you can operate right so this is the future of iot right 3D print now the 3D printing which I am working on it 3D printing also play a key role in this industry 4.0 okay this is uh, the brief I'll not discuss about the 3D printing just uh, because we have very uh, less time okay so it is uh, simple 3D printing is one of the te uh, technologies uh, keep uh, in mind which is uh, simply uh, like simple if you have any idea i'm uh, telling you in layman language i'm not going depth in technology right now because because of the time constraint like you have idea uh, simple if uh, you have idea of the any spec right you have right now any idea of say a spec or any uh, shape of your medicine right can you develop at your home ask the question can you develop at your home spec or any product whether it is sandal whatever it is is it possible आप दुकान में जाते हो लेडीज या जेंट्स अपने स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट का मिलता है क्या नहीं बट कैन वी कस्टमाइज इट बाय ओन नहीं क्योंकि जो अवेलेबल है उससे अपने को कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना पड़ता है कोई भी चीज हो राइट बट विद दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग दैट इफ ए वी हैव द आइडिया वी हैव द आइडिया वी कैन डेवलप एनी थिंग वी कैन मैनुफैक्चर मीन्स दैट प्रूफ ऑफ कंसेप्ट विच आर टोल्ड यू ना प्रोटोटाइप नाउ द फंक्शनल प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो वी कैन डेवलप दिस इज द वन ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी okay so i'm not discussing on that but this technology is moving in healthcare center as uh, pharmacy is a part of healthcare so i'm discussing on that note 3d printing uh, is uh, playing a, a very crucial role in product design and development how i'm showing you uh, this thing even in pharma industry i'm going to show that example also okay so you can see this 3d printing is booming in every sector every sector whether it is food industry whether it is hope you have heard about the 3d printing because this this is not interactive session <laughs> this is one way session otherwise we have discussed various example but this it is booming in every sector we can develop our uh, fashion or uh, fashion things we can develop um, any customized things any toy transport पूरा का पूरा घर आप अभी थ्री डी पेंटिंग से बना सकते हो कार आप खुद से बना सकते हो एनी थिंग एनी थिंग नाउ इफ यू हर्ड वी कैन प्रिपेयर डेवलप अवर ऑर्गन्स वी कैन कस्टमाइज प्रोस्टेटिक्स दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ थ्री डी पेंटिंग दैट्स वाई आई हैव टेकन दैट टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर दिस सेशन ओके मेडिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ थ्री डी पेंटिंग एज आई हैव गिवन द ग्लांस Uh, why 3D printing? If you have any uh, idea related to any product, so you can customize by your own. As I have taken the uh, example, 
and uh, have you uh, remember that topic uh, that uh, point of larry what he did he uh, he have not de uh, develop uh, the product initially or not wasted his money or time on product development final product development or mass production develop uh, mass product he developed a proof of concept proof of concept means prototype prototype hope you are aware about the prototype it is a uh, scale model of actual product or a small your uh, poc so with the help of 3d printing you can develop any uh, prototype also in very less cost now it uh, it is used for uh, uh, what uh, final means final manufacturing also with less cost you know no need to set up the industry at home itself you can do right this is the beauty of 3d printing there are various application of 3d printing i am showing you for the surgical detection tool for surgical planning for pre surgical planning various um, uh, what uh, surgeons medical practitioner doctors uh, they are not confident in some of the surgery or uh, would like to explain the uh, problem to uh, patient so at that time uh, they need the surgical model even in complex uh, surgery like any uh, critical surgery is there and the sur uh, surgeon is no, uh, not uh, confident so what he uh, what he uh, uh, do usually he take the cbct cbct you are aware cbct and then prepare the physical model with the this uh, 3d printing and that surgery uh, goes um, uh, further successful that for the surgical planning it is being used for various uh, direct products also surgical guide if you are aware about the dental surgical guide you have uh, rct or tooth replacement today's days you know uh, another thing it is related to pharma implant initially it was the standard implant uh, with the uh, industry industry whichever pharma industry or surgical industry is giving the implant now there is a personalized uh, implant solution with the beauty of digital uh, means uh, digital scanning digital 3d printing 3d printing digital manufacturing specific problem specific implant we can develop means uh, whether it is uh, a neuro implant uh, ortho implants it, uh, dental implants any implants we can right that's why it is personalized implant today's days and we can develop with a, with any material right you have you have uh, seen hopefully uh, customized processes uh, jaipur food have you seen about the jaipur food hope you have heard about the jaipur or while i am uh, delivering this uh, session uh, do the google 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 those terms so you would not uh, get to know about those products okay even uh, recently in covid when we uh, we have worked in covid uh, uh, on r and d projects milap foundation was there he had developed the prosthetic hand uh, even in shark tank no in kbc uh, he is uh, he is the fellow from amravati akola milap foundation ne usko ye kya gade his name is gade he work on processes so uh, 3d printing uh, he had developed with the help of 3d printing you can think on it then customize hearing aids any customized thing any customizing whether it is your uh, uh, what um, fashion jewelry or any of footwear whatever thing even your specs your spec whatever it is you can customize by your own right how we can customize that may be a question like i i'll, I'll uh, if uh, questions are there at last we will discuss on it like there is a 3d scanning 3d scanning technology aapko sawal aa raha hoga sir custom customize customize bol rahe hai but how we can take the input right how we can take the input like uh, for the as i told you it, if it is uh, related to organs we can take the cbct cbct ct scan mri uska virtual data aata hai and we can convert into physical form and for this uh, this uh, we can uh, do the 3d scanning outside scanning right even this is uh, for your domain like pharma domain you know about uh, drug delivery system with the help of 3d printing uh, uh, drug delivery delivery is going on uh, and uh, drug, drug delivery and tissue engineering also i think it is also a, a topic of pharma 
tissue engineering bio 3d printing like with the help of hydrogel and bio paper you can uh, develop the organs right so this is also now in trending in uh, pharma i'm showing you the video on youtube Is it visible? A based company. An audible. So we are manufacturing, dispensing, and dosing equipments for the semi-automatics and fully automatics applications. Yes, sir. It is audible and visible. Yeah, you can see this is one of the customized three D printer dedicatedly developed for pharma industry. And reliable. Trafel was uh, designing a three D printer for their pharmaceutical needs. And that time they were looking for a, a precise pin head, and uh, that's how they come to us. Hi, my name is Mitya. My name is Seng Han. And together, we are the co founders of Impact Health. In many cases, we have patients go home with bags of medicines or have complicated dosing regimes, like before or after food combinations. At Craft Health, our solution is to combine or 3D print different medicines into a single poly pill. This means that we're able to cut down on the number of pills the patient has to take on a daily basis, effectively reducing the pill burden. When we first started, we realized that many of the 3D printers off the shelf, they're really not precise enough to meet our dosing requirements that we have for our 3D printed tablets itself. Through our research, we found Viscotech. So really with Viscotech's experience in the other industries, they were able to provide us a customized solution to help us to design and build a 3D printer print head itself that keeps FDA compliance in mind to allow us to have a safe production consumption of our 3D printed tablets while at the Is same it audible time, also now? any concerns that we have about the precision of the dosing. Most of the conventional print heads in the market, they are actually printing from solid materials. Whereas for Viscotec, we are able to print liquid materials in liquid form of a wide range of viscosity. For Viscotech, we have been in this field for a very long time. We have been supplying dispensers. We, and further, we will take the dedicated session on 3D printing. Industrial areas where Just is, uh, to give the glance how technology is being used in your, your pharma industry. Applications. So when Kraft okay. approached us for this uh, print head solution, we offered our print head to the materials. In this case, our tablets. This is the one of the another uh, video. I'm showing you just small video to take. The pharmacist in a children's hospital who has to break tablets in half for her patients to administer the appropriate dosage. Someone who has to gradually taper off his medication by the milligram. A person who regularly needs a different dose based on their fluctuating health status. What if we could provide these patients with personalized medicine tailored to their specific needs? Can this be done in an industry where medication is based on a one-size-fits-all approach? Where personalized medicine is beyond expensive? Well, the future of the pharmaceutical industry is closer than you think. Tomorrow's medicine can be made in every hospital or pharmacy, on demand. I know what you're thinking. How are you going to achieve this? The answer is simple. With data and 3D printing technology. Imagine a consult with your doctor. He makes a diagnosis and prescribes the right medicine to you. Based on your personal details and specific needs, he sends a digital prescription to the pharmacy or hospital. With 3D printing technology, the pharmacist prints medicine tailored to your personal health situation. They can create medicine in all forms with a made-to-measure dosage, release profile, and even multiple APIs. The result? Personalized medicine on your doorstep. Does your health change over time? Based on data collected from a health tracking device, a doctor can easily adjust your prescription to your current situation and send it over to the pharmacy for printing. Just like that. Imagine highly targeted medication that is affordable and available to all. 3D printing of personalized medicine makes medication more effective and patient friendly. With this technology, it can be produced flexibly, safely, on demand, on a small scale, at your local pharmacy, and best of all, 
it can be made fully tailored to patients' needs. At TNO, we want to take the lead in this revolution that will result in healthier, easier treatments. That's why we bring together experts to develop fit-for-purpose equipment to take affordable, personalized medicine one step closer to reality. <clears throat> we need frontrunners in research and in the pharmaceutical industry to think along with us about the future of healthcare. Care to join us? This was a fantastic example for the, uh, you can say, pharma industry, right? With the integration with the technology. Hope you agree with it. That how industry 4.0 is playing the key role in pharma industry. How uh, like, like the automation is going on. And here, uh, technology plays a crucial role. Like, that we have discussed about the 3D printing. Here, as it, you have seen about the customize uh, medicines with related to shape or with related to manufacturing it is it will uh, handle by 3d printing about those uh, uh, drugs means compositions uh, um, compositions weight and uh, like suggestions like all those stuff it will be uh, data related to data data analytics data science is playing an important role in there right uh, for taking the computerized decision computerized taking decision rather than asking the every time asking to a doctor or anything so you know you have handled various software so accordingly it will take the doses it will take, uh, take that content and directly you will get that particular medicine or dose this is the beauty of technology for product right and for entrepreneur as an entrepreneur also you know you need to be updated with the technology that's why that's how you will stand out from the competition you know that's why how you will stand out from the competition with the help of technology with the help of uh, innovation right so that was uh, about the uh, uh, what a technology use even custom doses as we have seen in video even shape like you know uh, i'm giving a small example as a, as i have a small kid daughter uh, you know uh, children's are very unhappy with the dot medic medi medication right so uh, think if we can create any uh, like a loving shape for them how it will be they will take uh, willing uh, means uh, with happily they will take the medi medication right think in that direction so 3d printing will play an important role for uh, one of the uh, dentists means like uh, dr karaskar uh, from government dental college he is working with me. He's a head of the department of pedo. We have developed one gun for him. Gun, one injection was there. Now injection is also with the surgical and pharma. There was a, uh, uh, there is a uh, injection existing with, uh, they, they use for root canal processing, but you know, the shape of the injection, right? Uh, the, uh, the patient, small kid, uh, kids are very anxious and frightened with that uh, device. So we have developed it with like a toy gun. We have developed it with like a shape, a shape of toy gun and even customized means volume based. Uh, we have developed the ampoule that can, uh, uh, injection is uh, uh, ampoule is there small at the end and that particular dose only we are inserting in that uh, dental cavity. So these things we can do with the help of technology, right? Only we need to figure out the problem or we need to figure out the need, right? So keep your eye, your eye open. Okay. Thanks. You have seen this. Ah, and I'll remember, don't think in that like uh, we are a pharmacist. We are not an engineer. You know, today's days, inter, uh, in, in, uh, today's era is interdisciplinary era. Doctors, engineers are working together. Even pharma, pharma persons are working with engineers. Obviously, they are working, uh, they are um, running the industry, right? They need an engineer. So on today's days for any de device development or any product development, we can work collaboratively, concurrently, right? So don't think th uh, that direction. If you have idea, you can come to us or you can uh, uh, come to any engineer or specific person. 
he will help you in that but don't restrict that idea work on that idea and uh, larry's direction that which we have discussed and proceed okay don't think constrain your mind that mujhe nahi aata main kaise karunga main thodi na engineer hu like that don't uh, constrain your mind okay this is the process how you will uh, develop your product you need to this is the 4d method for product development 4d how why i am uh, telling you uh, saying 4d first you need to define there is a define stage you need to define your problem you need to do the prior search and then you need to uh, develop the prototype uh, uh, develop the prototype and then you need to deliver it to your client and then deploy this is a 4d method i am explaining in, uh, in detail that's why I, uh, in uh, larry's case we have discussed for healthcare um, like for the product development we are doing the same thing we are meeting the, with the surgeon we are observing various procedure closely with the patient or surgeon and we keep our mind open and then we are proceeding further i am showing one of the case uh, fracture hand you know you know everyone uh, everyone any time got any fracture and they are supposed to be a plastered right but how you feel with it it is good it is good no you know there sometimes we are uh, there is a itching right sometimes we we are, we are feeling very uneasy even like three idiots hey, we are we, uh, we are our friend uh, right uh, some message on that so we are not uh, feeling that much easy or comfortable with that whether it, uh, it uh, with the feeling or uh, fashion point of view also so this was one study factor study what we are done that was about the problem like your plaster cast still feel too tight after keeping elevated 24 hours it is heavy and it uh, persist itching burning sensation because of that cast sometimes it uh, uh, the problem persist more and it, it is slow, slow, swollen and becomes a very painful right so uh, that was the problem that was problem we have seen so then 3d printing came into picture we have 3d scan and we have prepared the customized customized uh, patient specific plaster you can see first we have taken the th 3d virtual uh, model and then we have created the model and then we have printed it advantage what was the advantage of that fracture cast it is portable lightweight it look better stylish you know agar kisi ladki ko वो ऐसा प्लास्टर वो बाहर निकलेगी क्या <laughs> नहीं लगेगी फैशन फैशन प्रॉब्लम हो जाए बट यहाँ अब विद द हेल्प ऑफ थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग वी कैन डेवलप हाउ जैसा भी आपको चाहिए राइट इट लुक्स बेटर एंड स्टाइलिश दे अलाउ वाई हियर दे अलाउ इनफ एयर टू वेंटिलेट राइट राइट बट दैट्स वाई देर इज अ नो इचिंग एंड दिस कास्ट आर ऑल्सो वॉशेबल नहीं तो आपको पता है नहाते वक्त वो क्या होता था प्लास्टर ऑफ पैरिस का राइट दैट प्लास्टर they uh, they help the patient with the cast enough chance to scratch or ease the area of its application this is the advantage of that particular case even uh, now th this is one of the student of uh, another different jd college of engineering approach approach to me in first year that's why what i i i am telling you be interdisciplinary don't think in that direction ki mujhe nahi aata main kaisa hoga is bande ki story bata raha hu wo he was in first year he approached me for the 3d printing he was a nice idea for the prosthetic in first year itself usually i have visited various engineering college ban ladkon mein wo passion ya wo nahi rehta but in first uh, first year mein wo aaya sir i have this idea can we do that can we develop any um, uh, develop this one or first year or second year mein usne kya kiya dekho prosthetic hand aapne dekha tha na isme humanoid bana ke he was a electronics electronics engineer par wo physical prototype physical model humne banaya right now he is working on uh, sensor sensor based right and now he is going to give this project to defense wherever whenever there is a hazardous situation so think in that direction don't constrain your idea don't constrain your up to that particular limit 
okay this is the uh, development cycle need just define need for the uh, need then develop develop accurate the geometry of model and then deliver these are uh, things develop i'm skipping this there another case like surgical planning I'm, i told you this is one of the uh, what um, implant zygomatic implant surgery surgical planning we have uh, did for vspm dental college for gdc mumbai we have, for orthogenic surgery we have created it with the help of 3d printing even uh, as that uh, as uh, we got the one problem from igmc uh, igmc uh, medical college in, uh, medical college and hospital in nagpur while covid at that time also we have work uh, with the help of 3d printing so we even we have appreciated by hrd minister for this let's treat our ventilator surgical guide as to, as i told you i have we have created with the uh, um, surgical guide for dentist with the help of 3d printing so do those those dentist have this uh, 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 knowledge about technology no but they are aware about the problem they are aware about the problem and they are aware about the idea they came to us for this and we have developed this so don't concern yourself <laughs> what i'm targeting even this endo guide endo guide is for rct means that was the prosto and this was the endo uh, root canal hua hoga aapka koi koi root canal mein na calcified canal rehti hai wo jaati nahi hai andar so patients waise ek humne endo guide banayi thi this is what for uh, shubha ma'am dr shubha for her project so even crown and bridge agar kisi ko laga hoga abhi 3d printing se hote hai aligners clear and alternative to metal braces that was my earlier uh, startup even for uh, one of the uh, auricular prosto patient we have developed kaan nahi tha ek bandi ko humne kaan kaan scan karke 3d print kiya aur usko naya ka ye ear prosthesis kiya pre operative post operative you can see abhi to bio 3d printing aapke pharma ne uh, pharma came into picture now there are bionic ear no bionic ear uh, you are working on like toxicology or uh, tissue engineering right so we can create a tissue and uh, tissue and we can uh, print the organs we are going to discuss i'm working on this uh, anastomosis device also for nephrology kidney failure if you are aware for the kidney failure kidney failure uh, patient need to go for the um, hemodialysis you know there is a huge like uh, uh, there is a failure of hemodialysis av fistula so one of the nephrologist dr ash uh, okhadkar came uh, came to us for this problem and Uh, we are give, uh, uh, developing a novel anastomosis device to solve that problem. Yeah, and this device is not available in India currently. They are working on experience only. Right. So keep your eyes open. Think on problem. How we can solve uh, uh, that? We are the first, or what is the novelty? That also we need to think. That's how you will be separate from your competition. to in today's days the uh, investor or uh, investor also see the novelty ki aapne alag kya kiya hai aap alag kya kar rahe ho agar dusre ki tarah kar rahe ho to hum kyun paise de aapko like that's why innovation small innovation should be there whether it is re related to process or related to device or related to feature okay neuro surgery uh, cranial implants is ready to be used ho raha hai this bio 3d printing uh, uh, personally i have insisted uh, in this presentation why uh, one of the pharma college from Na regional nagpur one of the scholar contacted me for this he was working on tissue engineering mere piche itne lage wo ki hum customize 3d printer banayenge for pharma dedicatedly for pharma uh, at a time first the approach be for the uh, drug delivery then they approach for like they have uh, developed one hydrogel for tissue engineering and now but uh, they have they are working on the material as pharma person you can work on material hydrogel and this is the niche niche area you can work on it so for that i am showing you the 3d printing it's like a 3d printer 3d printer existing 3d printer just material is changed just instead of a plastic here is a cell and hydrogel you need only bio printer and you will get the tissues and from tissue you know the, there is the organ i will not i'm not uh, discussing the main uh, contents and what are the things you are more uh, expert in that but i'm giving the direction okay 
these are the trending topics you know 3d printer is uh, booming so you should adopt the technology see the video loaded with cartridges of living cells these will then be output from a bioprint head that will move left and right back and forth and up and down in order to produce a 3d object bioprinters will output many types of cells as well as a dissolvable gel to support and protect the cells during printing. Organs will then be built up in a great many layers. Over several hours, a complete replacement kidney, liver, heart or other body part will thereby be created. A layer of biopaper gel. Bioink spheroids, each containing tens of thousands of cells, are then injected into this water-based material. More layers are subsequently added to build up the final object. Amazingly, nature then takes over and the bioink spheroids slowly fuse together. As this occurs, the biopaper dissolves away, leaving a final bioprinted body part. Some future bioprinters are likely to add cells directly to the human body. Sometime next decade, doctors may therefore be able to scan wounds and spray on layers of cells to very rapid. This is the beauty of 3D printing. Even now we can print a ear, kidneys, blood vessel, implant, I told you already. It is 3D printing is booming in every field, every field, whether it is fashion, as I told you, it means, means for a space, as I told you, for construction, every everywhere, everywhere, this technology is booming. And mark my word, if you we uh, as an entrepreneur, you need to be like, you need to think out of the box, letting in that direction, and you need to uh, adopt the technology. So that's how, how you can distinguish different from the competitors. So you need to use the technologies for that. That's why uh, your honorable sir our um, faculties are introducing those uh, tech uh, tech uh, courses in your field right so think about the innovations also innovation also is not difficult it's very uh, easy and uh, i dedicatedly uh, will take a uh, separate topic on innovation on patent and copyrights and other things it's very easy don't uh, worry about it don't worry about the technology don't worry about the um, uh, engineering things think on idea only how your business will be um, uh, will work on how it that a product idea will be helpful for your business or for your future right now sir uh, jo bola tha theek hai idea theek hai sab theek hai funding ka kaise paisa ka kaise i don't have the money right aapke paas agar idea hai na aajkal paisa easily mil jata aajkal thoda talent ko talent ki qadar karte hai right so think in that direction pehle khud ke paao ko zanjeer mein bandho ki mere paas paisa nahi hai right i don't have money so these are some of the funding and grants you know about the healthcare perspective particularly for healthcare perspective byrac byrac big is uh, one of the grant jo aapke paas agar proof of concept hai aapka idea agar hai aapko 50 lakh tak paisa deti hai uh, first I, i don't know about whether our, our loan or grant mein farak kya uh, we are taking the personal loan or home loan right from bank for cooperative mom and national bank we need to pay the interest on it 14% 20% kitna bhi rehta hai with respect to your civil score that is a loan right loan grant kya rehti hai wo paisa apne ko r&d ke liye milta hai aur business ke liye milta hai wapas nahi lete government to achhi baat hai na achhi baat hai ki nahi so we will uh, run on that direction ki pehle grant mile bhai pukad ka paisa mile so that we can use the uh, it, uh, it for r&d so these are various grants byrac is a uh, healthcare industry mein byrac sabse zyada grant hai 50 lakh ki pehli grant deti hai for r&d or proof of concept then ek up to 1 cr ki grant deti hai for business sibri mein right just you need a proper idea proper team that's it hamare vnit mein bhi char panch uh, startups ko mile even it is in direction even for kvac khadi we have taken that grant ICMR भी आपकी शायद फार्मा में देती है मेडिकल इंडस्ट्री में 
स्टार्टअप इंडिया सीड फंड अलग अलग कॉलेजेस को मिल रहा है सीड फंड स्टार्टअप आपको पता है पी एम ओ स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्टार्टअप इंडिया रन कर ही रहे स्टार्टअप इंडिया फंड में आपको सीड सीड फंड मिलता है इट विल बी स्मॉल अपाउंट फाइव लैक्स टेन लैक्स वट एवर इट इज बी बट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ना अट एज अनिशियल कैपिटल राइट किक स्टार्ट फंड भी इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर से मिलता है अगर आपके कॉलेज इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज में जनरली है इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर फॉर डेडिकेटली फॉर अंटरप्रनरशिप टू बिल्ड अंटरप्रनरशिप पर सबसे फॉर वॉट फॉर मेंटरिंग ऑल्सो क्योंकि क्या होता है ना दैट फेलियर फेलियर जो हो रहा है स्टार्टअप um, uh, के एक या दो साल में इट्स इट्स नॉट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ऑब्वियसली दे आर द न्यू कमर्स बट फॉर द मेंटरिंग मेंटरिंग दैट स्टार्टअप नाउ देर इज अ इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर फॉर इवन फॉर द funds there is a, there are um, government fund government fund which are allotted to those uh, incubation center of institution so we can fetch that uh, um, uh, funds or grant from that institution and you can be incubated and that uh, in that incubation center kyunki incubation center mein aapko infrastructure ka paisa nahi dena padta infrastructure ka paisa bach jata hai rent nahi dena padta electricity bill pay nahi karna padta aap puri facility wahan ki use kar sakte ho that is the ऑब्वियसली पैसा कितना पैसा जाता है इंफ्रा में हाउ हाउ मच कैपिटल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द इंफ्रा एंड दो रिकरिंग एक्सपेंसेस बट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंक्यूबेशन फैसिलिटी दोज इनपुट कॉस्ट विल बी माइनस इनपुट कॉस्ट विल बी लेस एंड यू विल बी मोर प्रोडक्टिव इन योर बिजनेस राइट देर आर वेरी एंजल इन्वेस्टर ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव गुड इन गुड वट यू कैन से गुड आइडिया so uh, there will be n number of investors are there who will who can fund uh, your idea for the business so you can approach there or uh, any pitch session is there you can pitch your idea and they will fund to your idea for your business without taking in with equity or you will take only 2% or 1% or not taking in with equity equity means partnership share in your profit so this those are the angel investor जो फोकट में आपको पैसा दे रहे हैं और मेंटरिंग भी दे रहे हैं और कोई दूसरा रहता है इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर यानी जो पार्टनर पार्टनर्स होते हैं आपको 20 परसेंट टेन परसेंट का स्टेक मांगते हैं लाइक शार्क टैंक यू नो शार्क टैंक तो देखा होगा और अंटरप्रनरशिप यू मस्ट सी दो शार्क टैंक सेशन वाई बिकॉज यू कैन सी हाउ दे आर वर्क ऑन प्रोडक्ट हाउ दे कैन दे आर वर्किंग ऑन बिजनेस मॉडल हाउ दे आर टीचिंग देर प्रॉब्लम how they are pitching the problem those those are the things so you can uh, see those stuff from shark tank if you would like to go further in entrepreneurship you must watch that uh, shark tank series and there are uh, more uh, source available once you have well you can develop okay this is about the funding and grants i i thought that it uh, you should aware about it that's why i have shared this Even KVIC, MSME, वो बहुत बताना भूल गया देर आर सब्सिडी स्कीम्स ऑल्सो इफ यू वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट यूर मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री लाइक फार्मा इंडस्ट्री सोच लो तो मैनुफैक्चरिंग के लिए थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सब्सिडी मिलती है थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सब्सिडी यानी पैंतीस परसेंट सब्सिडी पैसा गवर्नमेंट आपको देती है यस yes. और पाँच परसेंट ही आपको लगाना पड़ता है बाकी बैंक लोन थिंक इट सब्सिडी सर्विस सेक्टर के लिए 25 परसेंट एंड फॉर मैनुफैक्चर थर्टी फाइव परसेंट अर्बन टू रूरल देर इज अ डिफरेंट बट वी कैन यूज ना पैंतीस तक का भी कितना कम हो गया कि ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट भी सो दीज आर द वेरियस सोर्स वी कैन यूटिलाइज फॉर आवर स्टार्टअप और अंटरप्रनरशिप सो दैट इनिशियल कैपिटल विल बी लेस एंड वी विल इफ एनी वर्स कंडीशन वी विल फेस द लेस लॉसेस अदरवाइज वी विल गेट मोर प्रॉफिट ओके दिस इज another uh, thank you from my side i think there is a time concern so thank you from my side yeah thank you sir thank you abhijit trout sir for this wonderful session full of knowledge and as you said we would love to have your sessions more session more detailed session on 3d printing and uh, innovation uh, intellectual property rights and all that thank you ma'am thank you sir so now I'll, i would like to request jyoti lahane madam assistant professor kokan and petrao dhaka college of pharmacy and research institute kars to propose vote of thanks for the today's program 
थैंक यू पूनम मैडम आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल प्रॉपरली यस आई टेक प्रिवलेज टू प्रपोज वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर टूडेज प्रोग्राम दैट इज आई आई सी के जी आर डी सी पी एंड आर आई करजत इन कोलाबरेशन विथ आई क्यू एस सी वेस्कॉप चेंबूर अ प्रोग्राम ऑन वर्ल्ड एंटरप्रिनशिप डे सेलिब्रेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मिस्टर अभिजीत राउत फाउंडर एंड प्रेसिडेंट योशोविंद थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर स्पेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम एंड शेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल एक्सपीरियंस विद अस sir i would like to mention few takeaways from your session over here uh, the story which you share about steve and larry larry the example of that i think it was a very wonderful example where you wherein you mention that we should always be ready to adapt the changes to become a successful entrepreneur one more line which stuck uh, as a key takeaway for entrepreneur was that love the problem and not your solution <laughs> that was indeed a, a great line sir i hope that uh, the audiences uh, which are sitting uh, student i uh, <clears throat> like one or maybe many uh, more student uh, find their profile in your uh, in future powerpoint presentation as a successful entrepreneur <laughs> thank you so much sir and as the punam ma'am mentioned yes we would be definitely looking forward with you to have an offline session on this uh, 3d printing uh where yeah, yeah. that healthcare sector uh, you have very nicely mentioned many examples 3d Actually, printing a, 3d a, scanning a, a faculty, yeah as a faculty yeah, you know one way teaching is not comfort means uh, meaning that much <laughs> <laughs> okay, true sir true session is interactive you can give yes, yes. more uh, impact yes yes it is impactful to be interactive <laughs> right sir we'll be definitely so, looking forward for that session in future Okay. I would like again here to thank our uh, earlier uh, resource person, Mr. Sailesh Kamat sir, who has also spared his valuable time and shared his rich experience. Here, I would like to again uh, thank the convener of the program, Principal Dr. Mohan Kare sir, K J R D C P and R I, and Principal Dr. Supriya Shidhye, Westcorp, Chembur. i would also like to thank uh, president of iic dr bharat tekade uh, who is professor kj rdcp and ri and dr mushtaq sheik from westcorp i would also like to thank a program coordinator uh, mrs poonam patil nikam kj rdcp and ri anita aire ma'am uh, from westcorp i would also like to thank uh, dr rajeshri hirdekar uh, madam for addressing the session i would also like to thank dr vaishali zado for hosting this program and last but not the least i would like to thank the management of both the esteemed institutes and again i cannot uh, like uh, forget to thank the, the beautiful audiences the students who have patiently listened to the both the sessions hope it will be uh, worthful to them towards the end i would like to mention over here uh, the announcement for the participant uh, that we have already shared feedback link for the program uh, which is active and but which will be uh, not accepting the responses after the 10 minutes so it will be active only for up to 10 minutes from now onward so here i can at the last say that uh, uh, here this is the conclusion of this program thank you so much thank you Uh, so much technical team uh, from the westcorp and the other entire organizing team for of both the colleges thank you so much have a nice day everyone thank you jyoti madam